In this session, we derive the expression for drying time. Now, we know the expression for drying rate is given as negative dmv over dt times 1 over a. Now, the mass ratio of vapor is defined as mv over m of the solid. So, from here, we get dmv to be ms dx because the mass of the solid remains constant. Now from here you can write dt to be now we define this constant rate here that during the constant rate period, this to be defined as Rc. Now we take two scenarios. Case A, we consider some values x1 and x2, where drying is done to bring the moisture content from x1 to x2, where x2 is greater than xc. If you integrate this between 0 to total time will be ms over a and now if r is constant for this entire term and this is rc so it will be again 1 over rc integration between x1 and x2 dx so for this case simply you get the expression if we do the integration tt will be ms over arc will be x1 minus x2. Now for case b, where consider x2 some value less than xc. So now instead of x2 some value here, if you consider some value x2 to be here. So we want to reduce the moisture content from x1 to x2, where x2 is below this critical moisture content. So in this case, if you want to integrate this equation, you'll have to integrate between 0 to tt dt so over a x1 to x2 1 over r dx. Now for this case, you see here r between x1 and xc, r is constant at rc, but between uh, xc and x2, r is not constant, the r is changing. So right hand side will have to take the integration two parts. First part ms over a, x1 to xc, 1 over rc dx, minus the second part ms over a x c to x2 1 over r d x now you see here r between x c and x2 r is a linear function of x meaning r equals some constant a x now what is the value of this constant this is nothing but the slope of this line and slope of this line is given by if this is r c and this is x c is given by rc over xc x. So this leads to so this is constant so it will be arc and simply xc minus x1 minus ms over a this is 1 over r will rc xc over rc 1 over x so that So which give us here this negative and this if you just switch the values here ms over arc x1 minus xc and you have this 
m s over a x c over r c both being constant 1 over x will be ln x limit x c to x 2. Now just further simplify this this term is common on both side so and this side if you integrate it simply becomes t t total time which will become m s over a r c x1 minus x c and we will simply change the two limits to make this to be positive plus we will have x c over here long so upper limit and lower limit we change the sign x c over x 2. So this is the expression for total time for drying when x 2 is less than x c. Do remember that if the x 2 value is greater than x c you need to use this equation and when x 2 value is less than r c you need to use this equation.